Music is a pretty essential part of any workshop. Uh, if you don't have music or podcast or uh, audiobook or anything running when you're working, you're doing something wrong, at least according to me. I have this little box over there, can you see it? Pretty awesome. However, it's a little getting a little bit out of date. It has a little shoe for an old iPod, which I do use. However, sometimes you want to put an audiobook or a podcast or stream some music from, uh, from Spotify or such platforms. And this thing here, there, does not have Bluetooth. What's the solution, you ask? Well, we just got to build a Bluetooth box. I have some old speakers. Shall we do it? Okay, let's go. So the Bluetooth box I have is a full range output. It only has a little bass and treble EQ at the front. However, the speaker seems to have a little passive crossover in it, which is good news. So we're gonna take them apart, make a new box that's a bit compacter and fit everything that into there and include in the little PCB with the Bluetooth. And then we put it into a mitered box. I'm not gonna show you how to make a mitered box because you wanna see that. You need to look at one of my previous Make It Yourself videos because that's where I show how to make one of those boxes. Okay. Let's keep going this way. I think I'm joining the resistance. We'll keep the enemy at bay by twisting transistors as they pull apart chains. They forge new ones with persistence. The sentiment's the same, regardless of the distance. With our lip full of blisters and common causes in the language and a fire in my lungs. I guess I still don't understand it. We were ignorant once. We lost the freedom we demanded. I've been stating this for months. One day our dreams will be branded. Right now you'll find us standing on the precipice. Red for the bigger one, yellow for the medium one, white for the smallest speaker. Remember that for later, because I'm not sure I will have to rewind this tape. Tape, in any case. In any case, we've always filmed to tape when we film Mill Madness episodes, because that's the kind of old school analog freaks we are. That's why we're building a Bluetooth box. <laughs> So we've written down the measurements of each of the ports that we need to make and disassembled everything from the old speaker. Now I want to try and figure out the configuration, how I make the new box, where the cones are actually go on it. If you know me and know I'm a sound engineer in my old life, doesn't mean I can sign speakers. I'm just going to do it aesthetically and it's going to just sit in my workshop. So who cares? That's a disclaimer if I've ever heard of enemies before. All the scientists state they're blaming entropy, the cause, and false prophets say you need to find a friend as freedom falls. So we attempt to free the force from our esophagus. So something like this. And the space in the middle will be where the controls will be. We'll give it a go. I'm a bit unsure, but he who dares wins. That's what I've been told. So we're meeting in the barn to save the cattle from the abattoirs We stalk across the farm, splattered with the camouflage Raise a fist up on our arm as we rattle with battle scars And cradle in our palms the pieces of battered hearts This is the Bluetooth board I picked up from, uh, from Amazon uh, You can find a link to it down below uh, there's several different versions. If you have some old speakers at home you want to convert, you can get these in different strengths, so to speak. Uh, how many watts and uh, etc. and ohms, depending on what speakers you have. So look that up before you buy it. Uh, but you get them for about 20, 20 euros, around that mark, and they, uh, they work really well. I can't, I've tried this one out as it is before I built it in, and it sounds, sounds great. It's got Bluetooth 5.0. It also has a 3.5mm jack out input and uh, speakers and blah, 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 and it should be fine. Use this wonderful router jig. I can't remember where I got the design from one of the makers on YouTube. If I find out, I'll put a link down below. It's basically a circle cutter. You can set the distance between the router. Oh, this horsefly season drives me mad. Uh, the router bit will come down here, the cutter, and then this you can set basically the radius and you can cut out circles. It's brilliant. So, here we go. I got out the big circus with the, with, the, with the router jig. If you have one of these, uh, you will find out pretty quickly that once you get through the last, the last little bit, if you're not careful, 
it's that free running when it's uh, when the circle is loose in the middle you see you've gone all the way around and then suddenly it's free so you can get little wonky bits like this if you're not careful a batman bad joke that's an old joke that one sorry <laughs> um that was in episode two i think two three so i've now drilled three holes a batman bad joke wrong show <laughs> No, it might have been a bottle carry one, maybe fourth, fourth. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the other ones with the holes, so I think, uh, I think it'll be easier. Hope I got some size that will kind of fit. We will soon find out. Okay. So, we've done the holes for the uh, speaker cones. We've done the three little holes for the, for the controls that are gonna go. Unfortunately, when I routed it, in order for them to attach, I had to route it this deep, but that makes the wood thin like paper. So now I've done a metal plate. It's gonna go in front like this. A little bit uh, squarer than that, obviously. So I'm gonna go and make a mitered box now. When I come back onto this screen again, the box will be done. Day two, new shirt for continuity. You know how it is. Uh, so the mitered box is done. I painted the front as a light gray and I oiled the rest as the ports in the back for a lovely bass to come out. We're just gonna assemble the, we're gonna put speakers in, we're gonna stuff it full of uh, this lovely insulating stuff, put all the wires together and then we're gonna try it. By the way, if you're thinking, I don't know anything about electronics or anything, this is pretty much like putting together a hi-fi. You have <laughs> descriptions everywhere where everything goes. There's a three and a half mil uh, jack for uh, old school connection. There's a the power and the speaker. That's all. It's really not that difficult. So, assembly time. Then we aim to the right. We want to take back the streets and we reclaim as we write. It's a shame there's dim light, but it gives vibrance to torches as they blaze forever bright. And we climb to the fortress of the flames we ignite. Often come back to scorches, but we'll grace the mics until we're stacked up in corpses. So we're meeting in the barn to save the cattle from the abattoirs. We stalk across the farm, splattered with the camouflage, raise a fist up on our What's the order again now? Red, yellow, white. Red, yellow, yes, that's good. So with these, if you want, you don't, obviously don't need these from the speakers anymore. You could remove this solder, remove this and solder the speaker cable straight onto there. But I'm too lazy for that. We disagree. Make no mistake about it. I will drill there. Uh, drill a hole in the back. Somewhere down here, like a face plate as well, for the power supply and for the external three and a half mil jack to go. But I don't have a 24 volt uh, transformer. I only have a 12 volt one. But it will run the speakers. It will just not sound quite as it will at the end. And I will run this cable through the sound port here instead. I'll have to finish that at a later point. Not the most scientific build I'm doing here. There's a whole lot more to speaker building. But, it's still gonna sound good. Just not as professional as, as the professionals. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. Let's plug it in. Turn on the power. So let's have a look. Bluetooth. BT Woozy. That's a good sound, isn't it? Oh. We have sound. Guys, <laughs> don't
I see the red like snow that falls on land. <laughs> it freaking works. I built a Bluetooth box. So cool, isn't it? Some things are not as difficult as you think they are. When you see Bluetooth box and you think, how the hell is someone going to build that? But and in fact, it's just a tiny bit of research and get the right Bluetooth uh, board with the amp on it. Off you go. Maybe I'll turn the old box, the speaker from the speakers from the old box into another Bluetooth box and I'll maybe I'll put that up on the shop. Keep an eye out. So stay creative. Keep challenging yourself. See you soon. <laughs> So here's the magic list of our Patreon patrons patroning our Mill Madness Patreon campaign. Jeppe, Magnus, Simon, Todd Designs, Emil and Tony. You guys, you rock my world. Thank you so, so much. Batman. Bad joke. Sorry. It doesn't always work.